All right, we're gonna look at these tonight. I'm going to change out the strips that I have for the horizontal piece on my garage. And so let's just take a look and see what these look like here. Uh, Hi, welcome to Canispader Christmas. So today we will use those uh, chroma strips that I showed you last time and we'll try some horizontal pieces. Uh, just replace the, I have some normal strip. I don't think, I have some of this strip tie wrapped to the, uh, the EMT. I'm going to use the chroma strip to replace that and just just pop the pixels out of the old and put it in the new so that's the project for today but before we get to that I, before we get to that i have some housekeeping so for those of you that inquired about sadie she did get her staples out uh doc said that her gums were doing good so she's back on regular food uh she did have a little uh what do they call that seroma uh, looked like a looked like they sewed up a tennis ball inside of her, but it was just a it's just a sack of fluid that sometimes happens during surgeries or after surgeries, and so they went ahead and drained that because it really wasn't going down after a few days, and so she's still a little sore in that shoulder, but other than that she's fine. So um, on the mend. Uh, let's see we got we're leaving her on some pain meds for another week uh, just to make sure she's not in any pain so that's good uh, the other thing was Ruger boy 58 suggested a pre-made snake cable <laughs> you didn't like my snake cable so the snake cable apparently there is some pre-made cable that has got uh, two pair of 24 gauge and a pair of 18 gauge wire and so that would effectively look much nicer than this i phew, can't imagine why anybody wouldn't use that but uh that so that's out there if anybody is thinking of doing that i actually had another idea after i was putting that video together i may be able to just come out of the controller with data and a ground on the ethernet cable since i'm probably going to put or i am going to put a power supply out in the yard to do the power injection anyway so i'm not going to run any power out of the controller just ground and data and then at the first pixel i will match that up with wire from the power supply so i'll connect the ground from the controller to the power supply bring power and ground out to the prop and then just leave the data wire let that go through all the props and then inject power from that same power supply as needed. So that's plan A. This is plan B with power injection. And so I'm assuming one of those will work. The ethernet straight out of the controller is kind of a neat idea. So we'll, we'll see if that works, but good suggestion. Uh, and oh, and if anybody's interested in that cable, just look at those at the comment on that uh, video. Finally, uh, Larry suggested modeling the chroma poles as a 180 degree mega tree uh, and just make the top and bottom, make it one. And so I'll show you that in X lights. Okay, so this is the current configuration of the chroma pole, and it's just a vertical matrix. And let's look at the wiring view. Let me expand that a little bit. So we start with 1, go up to 50, 51 to 100, 2, up and down, 3, up and down. So that's the way I wanted to wire it. Uh, so let's try a tree here. So we'll grab a tree. We'll create a real skinny tree and I need to make some adjustments so we'll do 180 uh, we will do 
bottom to top ratio is one so now you see it creates this uh, kind of a half pipe thing which is very cool I've got uh, let's see three strings of 100 and I'm going to do two strands per string so that doesn't look bad at all we can kind of squeeze it up there so now let's look at that wiring view and hopefully it's the same yep so one here to 50 51 down to 100 2 and 3 very cool so that may render differently than a matrix so I'm gonna use this one for the chroma poles and uh, we'll we'll see how that works this is the task at hand so this is the end of the short side I have a short side and a long side and I just join them together to span it's like I don't know about 18 or 20 feet on each end I've got a set that goes down and just made a little loop uh, slid it over the EMT and then I just took this strip and tie wrapped it to the bottom of the EMT so I want to replace that with this, which, as you can see, well, maybe not. It's a lot more rigid, and it is made to tie wrap to something like EMT. So, so you can do it this way, or you can turn it upside down like this. Since this is already hanging down, I'm going to do it like this. And I'm just going to swap the pixels out of the strip and put them into the chroma trim. Okay, this may be hard to see, but this is what I did. I This one has a tie wrap toward the end, so I put that just uh, on the inside so it kind of hold it. Although I may have to pull this pixel out and move it around. <laughs> So I put this on the short one, the uh, the short piece, and I left these tie wraps a little bit loose, just in case I need to reposition anything or uh, need some extra room somewhere. So what I'll do is just transfer the rest of these to this strip, and then I'll start on the long one. This stuff is not the easiest stuff to push pixels through it's, it's a lot thicker than a normal strip so just be prepared for that the other thing for a splice I just matched up two holes and put a tie wrap here so that it would secure it and then I re-drilled the holes for the, uh, the because the mounting the, the mounting holes didn't match up so not a big deal so this is the end. I've got this here just in case I need to move it down a little bit. Uh, when I set it up, I'll measure it out and just cut it off if not. I did drill another hole here to put this tie wrap on here and secure it. So I'll go put this up and we will take a look at it. All right, now looking at the before shot here, you can see it's it's pretty straight, but uh, toward the left-hand side there, it's probably where the... EMT mounting brackets are and so it does bow up a little bit um, in the after shot it is perfectly straight all the way across looks pretty good so I'm pretty happy with this stuff my final thoughts on the chroma trim v3 from Boscoyo studio the strip is much more rigid than the current uh, I don't know what this is. Is this just regular chroma, chroma trim? I don't know. Um, but as you can see, it's a little more rigid. It is a little bit more difficult to work with. Uh, these pushing pixels into these was much more difficult than going into these, but it holds them better, so it's not a big deal. A uh, little pro tip for you when you. <laughs> When you have an, uh, an end on one side, leave a couple of extra holes in case you need to do something on that other end. Um, I put one right on the end and turns out I probably could have 
had one or two holes that would have made this a little bit better. I like the Chroma Trim V3. If you if you need to put something horizontally, the those are great to tie it to something like EMT. Um, you can use them vertically too, but then you could just use strips vertically and hang it from something. So you know either one, whatever works for you. But I do like the new strip. I may have to order a couple more, so don't buy them all, please. And you know who you are. That about wraps it up for this video. As always, if you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.